Here's a new half bridge. Need a fan for it. This hole right there. So this thing seems to run pretty good and I've just got this set up where I decided I wouldn't run it half wave. So when I can just run the staccato figured same pretty much same thing so I've got an interrupter connection and then just switch over to continuous wave and this right here is just switching the smoothing cap so I can run it filtered and unfiltered in my opinion the best way to run it is unfiltered where it's less demanding on the power supply it looks looks pretty damn beefy well, the half bridge is cool I'm working on this full bridge also so I need to finally build one and this is going to be sort of the first test setup. The reason it's a test setup is because I've got wire jumpers and <clears throat> it could be a whole lot better but I decided I was just going to use the two single gate drivers to run this full bridge so I will try to make it a DR SSTC so again this is going to be based on Steve Ward's DR SSTC 1. It's going to have low on time compared to running it as an SSTC so I'm hoping, uh, you know, without keeping the BPS crazy high or anything, then these gate drivers shouldn't struggle too much running the full bridge. As far as the staccato, um, I've been using the one from Low Notion's website. As far as the schematic, I mean, it's pretty simple. All I've done was just, um, you know, he's got his a little different, but, you know, you just come off a transformer. I think this puts out something like 12, 14 BAC. Basically, come off a leg with a diode to feed a 5-volt uh, regulator. And, you know, you get that smooth properly and you use that to feed the triple fives. And then I've just got 2N222s, two 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 little cheap NPNs as my transistors in the circuit use that as uh, the interrupter where the output is just feeding the enable pin same way it would as my other interrupters so plug in the transformer to the outlet and I just plug in the jack to the Tesla coil just use it like a regular interrupter perfect on time right up to about the peak of the quarter wave and uh, it starts right at the beginning right at about zero so he's just coming off with this jumper over here he's just has a way to reverse the polarity but you can just say if you've got a plug on the input of your transformer and you need to flip the polarity use a uh, prong connector that doesn't have a larger neutral on there so you just flip the plug over and do it that way this point right here you know you obviously won't have a jumper but just come off with another diode uh, run it into a 5 volt linear regulator again common grounded and then uh, smooth that and then just use that as your 5 volt rail sort of looks a little confusing this schematic but very simple how to make this work off a linear regulator and uh, your own little transformer Right, so here's the half bridge. I'm going to run it at uh, 120 VAC. Unfortunately, I still see some little bit of streaking going on here. Seems to still sort of run, so this is going to be filtered. I'm just going to cut the voltage up. So kind of like my other build, I get the pretty fat arcs when I cut the on time way up. And so long as I'm at about 120 volts, I don't feel any feedback in the variate. You know, normally as I crank it up and you feel it start to pull significant current, you, you feel the, some feedback in that knob, which I can feel all the way up till I get to about 120 volts. So that's pretty cool. So once I know I'm about line voltage, I can play with the on time any kind of way and it doesn't really start stressing it. Take the... Uh, filter off and just still use the interrupter but crank it up to 120 and then uh, run it unfiltered something like that right there
I don't want to run continuous wave too long because I don't have this fan on here yet. I've just got the little drive circuitry fan. I'm cut it up a little bit. Well, first I gotta cut the cat back on. Cut that up and switch it over. So now it's in continuous wave. So again, I'm just gonna sort of crank it up a little bit. I mean, that starts to pull uh, quite a bit from the Variac and the uh, IGBTs do heat up a little bit more you know you wouldn't want to run it like that without a fan for too long especially pulling loads but I don't I haven't even brought it all the way to 120 so that's about 120 right there now I'm gonna take this interrupter uh, plug it in the outlet and then just put it in my interrupter jack. Staccato interrupter is plugged in. You know, that's, that's what's handy about it. You just it's got a mains power source and that's the uh, BPS. Then I just cut the voltage up with the filter off. So I'm put it about 150 not a huge difference so back to 120 So again, um, that's just really cool because that's an easy way to get your half wave ramps. Of course, again, so let's just say I cut the filter back on, you know, now you can just treat that staccato controller as just as a regular interrupter that you'd use for a Tesla coil. It just doesn't have burst mode and that's the range you have on your BPS. You know, really low break rate to, I don't know, in the into 15 to 20 or so maybe BPS. It'll still work the same, you just won't get the voltage envelope of the ramp. On time, your on time's limited to something like 4.7 milliseconds. Really like the output interrupted main sync because again, it really doesn't stress the inverter at all. You get some pretty decent output. It's like a foot or something, you know, it's pretty good. Steve Ward style half bridges, there's just a short bit, seems like. Again, I'm real curious to see what kind of power I can get with the full bridge. 